Hello there YouTube, Marty McConnell, the Off-Grid Gecko here. I'm going to try something a little different today. So, first of all, I'm going to shut the hell up um, for a lot of this video. This will be like a, a primitive construction video. So, I've had three failures with kiln building. And I've got a full day ahead of me and lots of sunshine. So, it's going to be nice and hot and sweaty. Um, I'm going to try and rebuild this structure in one day. And this time I'm going to be using pretty much straight up dirt from the ground. My dirt, as you've probably seen in previous videos, and it's being especially difficult today, is not exactly the best quality clay in the world. This is a mixture of clay, sand, and aggregate little small rocks. So, um, I had some problems with that in the past. But I'm hoping that by packing all this together, like, I can alleviate some of those problems. I have no idea how I'm going to form structures for openings. I might cheat and use some metal screening to take care of the difficult parts where I need, like, an overhead block or whatever. Normally, you'd use a large rock, I guess, to cover up the openings. I may try that as well if I can find a suitable rock without having to do a tremendous amount of work to get it going. Um... And I'm going to try like sort of a simpler um, methodology with building it straight up into a cone shape and then having some kind of intermediary in there where um, directly above the fire I'll have a rack, maybe a metal rack that I can set my pot on and then throw the cans in to burn them. But in the meantime I'm going to get started and it all starts with filling this bucket with dirt and hauling it over there and repeating that process about 60 times. And one day I'll do something with this hole too. four buckets of dirt over here um well this is not really the best clay in the world um, i just put that in the last video that i uploaded it's got rocks from this size all the way down to this size and sand and all kinds of other garbage in it but i haven't tried this yet with it because of that mainly but i'm gonna try it today so that was no small amount of work okay. Alrighty, so I realized pretty quickly that this little operation of mine, the way I was doing it, was just not going to work. Um, so what I did instead was I took all the soggy mud, or at least most of it, that I had on here, pulled it off, threw it back in the mud pile, brought over another bucket of dirt, and then when you get this stuff dried out a little bit through mixing it, it's just like working regular clay, except on a bigger scale. I'm sure it's not as refined, and it's probably going to be prone to cracking. But we can give that a try, because at the very least, like, this is going to make a much more effective mortar than anything I've used so far. So I can bring in little rocks, and I feel like with this stuff, if I mix it and knead it until it's dried out just the right consistency, then it's just that much stickier. It holds its shape. It's firm. And it's just like working dough on a, on a kitchen. You take the sloppy wet dough, stick it together, and then you knead it with fresh dry dough. And that mixture seems to be working really, really well for this little experiment. So I just flip it over, grab some more soggy stuff. Uh, not exactly what you'd expect. Ah, and the camera's way over there, and I'm way over here. So, now I've got my ball of clay dirt all mixed and kneaded together. I'm just going to, quick estimate, that's about the right size. Just drop it on the ground here, and 
start to kind of rough shape it. A little bit, and I don't want these walls incredibly thick, so. And then, if this is about the right size, and you gotta be careful picking these up because they're kind of wormy. That's about the right size. So then I'm gonna take, this is soft stuff that's still left over, and actually the top of this is pretty soft. So, get that rock out of there. Just put a little more back here, and I'll slap some on the face of this guy. So he's got some stick em in between these two. Just smush him in there, smush him down there, pat him down, okay, and then I just kind of start mixing the clay together, just sort of melding it around the edges, and much to my surprise, astonishment, and liking, this thing actually stays here without smashing the entire pile, so it's pretty awesome. It's 10 bucks, my camera's gonna shut off again. So, um, this has been drying for a couple days. I got some cracks and stuff in there. I'm not worried about it. Uh, the main thing is, will it hold up? And as long as those cracks don't make it collapse, then I'm good with it. I'm learning a lot. So, learning is the most important thing. And one thing I've learned is that this clay actually isn't too bad if you need it a lot and start to work it, it becomes a workable like type of thing. So, um, and we got storms coming in, I think tomorrow. So I am gonna have to fire this guy up. And the only bad thing about this raw from the earth, is it's got all these stupid rocks in it. Um, there's one right there. If it was all clay, it'd be better, but I can get most of the big rocks out as I work it. And to work it, I basically ran through it with this hoe right here and spraying water on it until I get it about to a dough like consistency and then just start to punch it down and work it and the more you work it the more it tends to want to stick together so it's just a matter of 
squishing it and pull it and squish it and pull it and squish it. And if there's not too many big rocks in it, then it won't fall apart on you. But the rocks kind of work themselves out to the outside too. Um, hoping to get this done by the end of the day, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. Okay, so far so good. Um, it's not a good idea to necessarily light this thing wet um, for several reasons. The clay can crack and explode. You don't give it time to dry adequately before you start, but I'm out of time and we got storms on the way. Supposedly, unless that weatherman's lying to me again, but he wouldn't do something like that. Um, but as you can see, you might be able to see the flames are getting drawn in there. Smoke's pluming out of the top. That's good signs that it's working. The air flows good, then um, the rest of the things will be better. And I'm going to keep at it no matter how many times it fails because that's just what I do. This is my windmill. So until this is working, this stays a priority and I'm just going to keep working on it and keep failing until, um, until I either die or I get it working. One of the two. And I intend on eventually building one completely with materials from the woods. This one, like I said, I cheated. There's some, some iron in there. But, um, and I added some stones up top here too to help support the, the roof. So they're kind of running crossways like this. Um, that was a modification that's from natural things around here. So that's fine. Um, and it's just creating new ideas all the time for what needs to be supported, how much the clay will support, like all of this stuff's important to learn. So, and it's a huge learning curve. Um, until you actually put your hands in the mud, you're just never gonna know. So, I'll see you next time. Things are about to get smoky.